Welcome to Chapter 2 of our thrilling tale, where the carnival's entrance looms large, like a mysterious gateway to another world. The air is filled with the sweet aroma of popcorn and cotton candy, but beneath this sugary surface lies something darker, something that whispers secrets long buried. As Evelyn Moore and her friends step through the archway adorned with flickering lights, they are enveloped by a cacophony of sounds, laughter mingling with distant screams, the creaking of rides, and the haunting call of a carnival barker echoing through the night. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of this carnival, where every corner holds a new surprise and every shadow hides a secret. Stay tuned as the story unfolds, and don't forget to subscribe to the Storyteller channel for more captivating tales. Evelyn Moore's heart races, not just from the excitement of the carnival, but from the weight of her family's history pressing down on her shoulders. She feels the eyes of the carnival upon her, as if it recognizes her, as if it knows the blood that courses through her veins is tied to its own twisted legacy. Beside her, Jake Thompson's skepticism is palpable, his sharp blue eyes darting around, searching for a rational explanation behind the carnival's return. Yet, even he cannot deny the chill that dances along his spine as they venture deeper into the vibrant chaos. Lily Garcia, with her vibrant dyed hair and artistic spirit, clutches her sketchbook tightly, her fingers itching to capture the surreal beauty of the carnival. Each ride they pass seems to pulse with life, beckoning them closer, yet each one also whispers of fears and betrayals that lay within. Marcus, ever the rebel, is already eyeing the Ferris wheel, a reckless grin plastered across his face. Come on, let's ride, he shouts, his voice cutting through the tension like a knife. As they approach the Ferris wheel, the air grows heavier, the lights dimmer, and the laughter morphs into something sinister. Evelyn can feel the carnival spirit lurking in the shadows, watching, waiting. Each turn of the wheel seems to echo the cycles of their own lives, joy intertwined with sorrow, hope shadowed by despair. The ride creaks ominously as they climb aboard, and Evelyn's heart thuds in her chest, a drumbeat of dread. With each ascent, the world below shrinks away, and the carnival transforms into a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds. But as they reach the top, the view shifts, the vibrant tents morph into grotesque shapes, and the laughter turns into a cacophony of cries. Evelyn's breath catches in her throat as she realizes that the carnival is not just a place of fun. It is a mirror reflecting their deepest fears, their hidden traumas. As the wheel begins its descent, Evelyn feels a surge of determination. She will not let the shadows of the past consume her or her friends. They have come to confront the darkness, to unearth the buried truths of Hollow Creek. But as Marcus leans over the edge, a reckless glint in his eyes, Evelyn knows that the real challenge lies ahead. The carnival is alive, and it will not let them go without a fight. The descent is not just a physical one, but a metaphorical journey into the depths of their own fears and the secrets that bind them. With resolve in her heart, Evelyn prepares to face whatever the carnival has in store for them, knowing that the fight for their freedom has only just begun.